All right, so I'm here at Allah Spit near Deception Pass Bridge. A very beautiful pass. This is the first time being out here. Um, this spot is only about nine more days until you can collect shellfish of any kind. So I renew my pass and today we're gonna do a catch and cook video. Um, obviously I'm not gonna do this guy. He's huge, look at this. Look at how big his claws are. Check that out. I'm gonna let him be right here. He was feasting on something. Let's go get some clams, make some butter garlic. Oh, oh, whatever it is I'm gonna make, I bet it's gonna be delicious. I'm hungry, so let's get started. You hear that? Wow. Just fighter jets just flying above. So, unlike Double Bluff, very sandy spot, uh, this is just filled with a bunch of rocks, so I found this little little puddle right here. I got my Fowler shovel, which is, I wouldn't say it's the best for this kind of work. Um, it's a great bushcraft shovel, but my brother bought it for me because uh, he saw my last video and uh, he wants me to do more of these, so he bought me like the coolest shovel there is. But it kind of sucks because it's a really sharp blade at the tips. And we're trying to get through a bunch of rock here, rock and pebble here, so it's gonna dole it out. I've already kind of doled it out already, so whatever. It does the job. That's the only shovel I have. I threw the other one away. So let's get started and try to find some clams. Get all these rock out of the way here. I picked this spot because a lot of the rock was already out of the way. This spot is definitely harder than the last. Oh wait, there's one. Got the first one. I like these tiny ones a lot more than the big ones. So I'm gonna put him there so he can't escape. Yes. Oh, manila clam. That's gonna be delicious. Something about sticking your hand in a pile of mud. It's not cool, man. Let me get you guys closer. My hands are filthy. Got feel one. Nope, just a rock. Just gonna have to make a really big hole. Oh, nope, I lost it. Yep. Got another. Ooh, big mama. That's a good size one. A little bit too big, but you know what? I haven't found that much, so I'm taking it. Oh, I think I see one. Yep. Whew. Good size. That's four. Is this another one? Yep. Yep. This one looks kind of old. This <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh. Back to back. Wait. Now we're talking. We're rolling now. Nope. Fossil alarm. Oh, wait. Yep. Man, this one's dirty. All right. I think that's good. Uh. Oh, here's another. This one might be a uh, doozer. Oh! The biggest one of all. Wow, that's a good size. Look at that. All right, I'm done. Let's cover this up. Slippers. 
I'm not good. <laughs> Get out of here. Well, this looks like a nice place to just sit, and relax, and do nothing. Let's uh, unpack everything and see what we have to deal with here. I got the clams in here. Got my cooking stuff in here. I'm gonna put the clams in here, put them in some fresh water, let them purge. I forgot to bring crab oil. That's fine. Pour some water in here. This is fresh water. I try to get it purged as much as possible, which is probably not gonna be a lot, but better a little bit than nothing. And now I start off with a cup of coffee. So let's make some coffee and get these clams prepped. I absolutely love these jet boils. It's about three o'clock right now. Tide comes out about 4.30. I see people leaving already, so it'll just be me out here. After this, we're gonna go out to Deception Pass Bridge and you know take some pictures and probably try to do another video here. All right, this thing's already boiling. Jeez. All right, where's my coffee packets? Best coffee packets in the world. You can find these at the Vietnamese um, markets. They're called Vina Cafe. Three in one. It comes with the milk, sugar, and everything. Oh yeah, don't spill, that would be the worst. Fighter jets! You know, normally I'd hate it because uh, they're interrupting filming, but that's just so awesome to see. I feel so protected right now. Oh, I got my attachment for the grill here. Not grill, it's more of a walk. Walk this way. Here we got the rangers checking up on everybody. Doing a great job. Keeping everybody limits at 40 over below. It's good to see them out here for sure. Got parsley here. And the lemon that we have to cut. Crush the garlic. Let's chop it up into little pieces. My hands are going to smell so good. That's why I like these little flexible cutting mats. So I was looking for like dried up parsley in the um, spice aisle. And I was like, dang, there's like four bucks. And I was like, how much is a fresh one? A dollar 39 cents. So. Looks good. Nice lemon here. We'll split one lemon in half. And the other one has wedges in a little bit. I'm gonna throw some butter on there. This thing gets going fast, so you best be ready. The thing with the jet boiler is it's just too hot. The, the fire is just right directly in the middle and it just gets too hot and you can't really control it all that well regardless of how low you put it it's just really hot mm, that already smells good <laughs> the smell of butter we're gonna add our garlic here instant smell of gratification so before we put in the clams we gotta add a little secret ingredient and a lot of you that do cook know exactly what that is. Some white wine, baby. I got a little, how, how big is this? 187 milliliters. <laughs> We're just gonna pour all of it in there. So we got the clams here. A lot of them are already open. 
pour a little bit more water to wash them with. All of them are mostly open here. That's a really good sign. I got all the sand at the bottom. That's awesome. Lower that. And then we'll start dumping them in here. Like I said, I like the, the smaller ones. Easier to eat. And now we need a cover. I don't exactly have a cover for this wok, but we do have aluminum foil somewhere. I'm gonna let that simmer and steam a little bit. I know there's holes everywhere, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna take the camera. Let's go get some macro shots of some beach life. Let's see what's in the tide pools. Saw some gentlemen over there, they were speaking Vietnamese, and I was like, do you guys catch your fill? And then they were short like five or six, so I had exactly five, so I gave it to them. So this is all we're gonna have today. This is all I need, really. Oh man, it smells delicious. Get these guys in there. This one's not open, that's sad. Squeeze some lemon into this. Throw in the parsley. Doesn't look too sandy. Looks pretty good actually, wow. First bite, dip it in the white wine here. Mmm. This is the best I've ever had. Mmm. The last video. I exaggerated my chew and people were like, you eat like a savage. I shouldn't have given my other five to those gentlemen. Dang it. Who knew? Yeah, this is the best way to do it right here. Mmm. You know what else I brought? I didn't bring Tapatio like last time, but I did bring ah, Crystal Light. Not Crystal Light, Louisiana Crystal. Crystal Light is like a drink. Let's uh, douse that all over the place there. Look how beautiful this looks. Bring it up to the camera here. Look at that. I need my knife too. Cut the muscle here. Mm, that's the best part. <laughs> it just tastes like a steak. I think people asked about my knife last time. This one is an SE PR4 from the P. Rollins collection. Really great bushcrafting knife. It's always in my car. Mm. Oh, here's a little one. Oh, this sauce is delicious. Oh, the parsley is on point. Glad I got fresh parsley. $1.29. Screw the dried up one. Mm. I'm like going through these like nothing. These are really easy to eat. Um, the last time I cooked these, I had no idea what I was doing. So I looked up a recipe. And people prefer to do a butter garlic with white wine and parsley. You know what? They're absolutely right. I like disconnecting them like that and just put it back in the shell there. Get some sauce inside the shell. And suck it up. Mm. I feel like this broth here is gonna go to waste because I don't have enough. I only got two more right here. Mm. Mm. 
yeah, the big ones, they're a lot more chewier. So I really recommend getting the smaller ones. But I find more of the big ones than the small ones. So all in all, I already had the butter, already had the garlic, paid a dollar thirty nine cents for the parsley. Mm, clam was free. Uh, white wine was two dollars at the liquor store, and the water. Oh, this sauce is fantastic. I could sip here all day just sipping on this. I know I can catch more, but it's getting kind of late enough because this is about an hour drive out here. And once again, I am at a la spit. Um, clam season is about to close, so sorry about that. I'm pretty sure other beaches are open for clam season, but this one is almost done. I'm satisfied. Crow's watching me eat here. All right, time to pack things up. Pack it in and pack it out. And then uh, head over to the bridge. Uh, thanks for joining me, guys. And this is probably the last time you'll see me do a catch and cook. So it was fun while it lasted. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. A little bit more of this. <laughs>